Recap in minutes. In today's video, we will be enjoying a short war film, entitled Osawaik, Attack of the Dead Men. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins in August 1915. At the peak of the First World War, the Soviets and Germans face off in a stalemate. With the Germans being pushed back time and time again, the Germans prepare for one final assault against the Russians in hopes of advancing their territory towards the heart of the communist. Not soon after, a hand-to-hand -hand skirmish ensues, with each side losing equally the same men. After brutal close-quarter combat, the Germans make a tactical retreat after the Russians manage to hold their line. As soon as the fighting stops, heavy German artillery wreaks havoc on the Russian lines bombing almost every inch of the Soviet grounds causing a young Russian officer named Olinsky to fly back to the trenches. A Red Cross truck arrives at the German side of the trench. A man named Hauser, the man driving the Red Cross truck, initially thinks that he is delivering medical supplies, but after grabbing something to eat, Hauser then discovers that he is actually delivering poisonous gas after one of the soldiers mishandles one of the canisters causing alarm within the camp. Thinking that it is ironically inhumane despite the ongoing war, Hauser tries to warn and plead with the German commander that the use of poison gas would be dangerous for both parties. Like it would be using a double-edged sword. But desperate for victory and hungry for glory, the German commander dismisses Hauser and plans to go ahead with the gas assault. Later that night, in an effort to collect the dead, a ceasefire was agreed upon. It was the Germans collecting their dead and Hauser volunteers. While looking for bodies to possibly recover, Hauser discovers an elderly Russian soldier still alive buried among the corpses. Clearly against the war, Hauser chooses to turn a blind eye and pretend he didn't see anything. Hauser passes by one of the German soldiers nearby and goes along with his knight. The following day, Olinsky receives news that one of his trusted NCOs returns back alive. As soon as Olinsky hears the good news, he immediately rushes to see his comrade see how he is faring. The Russian commander expresses his great joy in seeing his comrade breathing and appears to be in good shape. The Russian survivor explains how he manages to crawl back to his part of the trench. The survivor also thanked Olinsky for saving his life back at the skirmish the day before. After a brief chat, the Russian survivor explains and reports to Olinsky that he saw the German troops wearing a mask that can only mean one thing, poison gas. Olinsky, a graduate of a distinguished Soviet military school, is very well aware of chemical warfare. Almost immediately, Olinsky orders his men to gather and breaks the bad news. Given that they still have the responsibility to hold the line, Olinsky tells his men to prepare for a strong possibility of death as the Germans were planning to use poisonous gas the next day. The men then ask if there's any way of surviving the attack. Olinsky responds and orders his men to prepare wet rags and use them to cover their noses and mouths so that it could help with minimizing the poisonous gas getting in their system and hopefully survive the gas attack. The next day, as expected, the Germans releases the poison gas when the wind was favorable. Not soon after, mustard smoke covers the entire battlefield. As soon as the canister empties out, the German patiently waits until the smoke clears. As soon as the smoke clears, a full battalion of German troops start slowly advancing toward the Russian positions. It is eerily quiet, and moments later, the Germans arrive on the other side and witness a morbid scene. As they reach the Russian side of the trench, the Germans see the hundreds of Russian defenders lying flat on their backs or flat on their stomachs, totally unconscious. Initially, they thought that the gas attack was a success, or so they thought. Not even the birds soaring up the sky survives the gas attack and fall down from the sky. But as one German removes his mask, thinking it is safe, he sees one Russian struggling to crawl up the small hill, and almost immediately, one by one, the Russian starts waking up despite having difficulty breathing. The Germans could not believe their eyes and were lost for words as the Russians were supposed to have died, but miraculously, they survived. Not soon after, as soon as the Russians gain consciousness and recover from their nauseating state, they start shooting at the enemy, and the Germans start dropping to the ground like flies causing the majority of the Germans to run between their tails. The movie ends with despite many disadvantages, the Russians once again managed to counterattack and held their ground, which is now famously called the attack of the dead. But two weeks later, when the situation changed, the Soviet troops retreated, but no matter what, when they manned the area, no German army managed to defeat them or make them take a step back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.